Okay, this is getting close to being finished. <laughs> the cats can't wait. I'm afraid they might try to move in. Um, so my husband got the egg boxes pretty much done this weekend. Yeah, so other than just getting them a little ramp, getting the run finished here and the doors on, um, yeah, for the most part, that's almost complete. Now I've got a second problem. Uh, not counting that massive burn pile that we can't burn because it's wet. Okay, we are still at two garden beds. And realistically, I don't think I'm going to have the other two done before spring. And even if I do, it's going to be so expensive just to fill them with soil. I'm coming up with the plan B. Not necessarily permanent, um, but we'll see. So I am going to plant right on the ground. That's going to be tricky. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy to till this. It's a lot of rock and clay. So that's the other problem. I don't really have soil under here as far as I know. I mean, the grass is growing here, so there must be some. Um, and I'm going to do the garden, not in raised beds. I will have to change that soon because there's moles and things like that, that are just going to eat all the vegetables. Um, but I will have nothing basically between these two beds. That's not going to be sustainable. And, you know, third thought, I may not even till, I'm going to see if I can make this work. I'm going to do some research. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Why they throw all these good boxes out? Okay, and this is not a priority, but I am so tired of looking at this thing. Ugh, please, somebody get this out of here. I doubt anybody is going to know what these are just by looking at them. There's no leaves or blossoms or anything. But I think these might be fruit trees. The previous owner said that there were cherry trees somewhere over here on the side of the property. Could those be cherry trees? Anybody? What are these? Those are the updates.